Hello everybody. I had a request uh, to do a GIMP tutorial on uh, creating this um, brushed metal texture. Uh, you may notice in in uh, this particular image I had some uh, jagged edges. I found a workaround to kind of correct that. Uh, so my second attempt kind of looked like this. I was just trying to create the volume knob for let's say uh, some type of interface or something. Uh, here's some other images that I was messing around with uh, doing the metal and glass textures. Anyway I had a request to do this in GIMP and uh, kind of do so at a beginner's level so maybe um, some of you who are more experienced with GIMP may find uh, this tutorial kind of boring uh, and slow. But anyway, um, I encourage you to go ahead and watch. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead. I'm going to create a new, new image here. I'm not really worried about the size. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure my background is selected and then I'm going to just create a new layer on top of that. It can be trans transparent. And uh, now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to image and I'm going to create some guides um, and a new guide by percent and under the direction I'm going to create the first one as horizontal and you'll notice the fit the uh, position is 50 percent uh, so here we have our horizontal guide at 50 percent I'm going to go back to image and I'm going to go guides and new guide by percent and this time uh, instead of horizontal I'm going to choose vertical and that gives us a uh, uh, where these two guides meet is dead center of the image and then I want to go up on the view menu and I want to make sure our snap to guides option is checked that way when we go to uh, dry out our first selection here to create this brush metal disc um, we can start from the very center so I'm going to choose my uh, ellipse selection here and then under the tool options I want to make sure that the mode is set to replace current selection anti-aliasing is turned on expand from the center and a fixed aspect ratio and then um, as I mentioned uh, in that one image I, that I showed you I had uh, some jagged edges going on and one thing that really helps with that is to feather these edges so I'm going to check the box that says feather edges and then we have a uh, another option down here for a radius and I think the default is 10 but I'm just gonna move that down to about 4 so now I can go ahead and, and draw out my new selection and as you can see uh, with those guides we've created and snap to uh, guides turned on we have uh, created this ellipse from the center of our image so I just hit enter on my keyboard to confirm or validate that selection now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna uh, do a gradient fill on this selection on our first layer. So I'm going to go up here. Uh, it's actually called the blend tool, but I just call it the gradient tool. So anyway, I've selected my gradient tool or blend tool. And I'm going to, I've got my gradient dialog open here. If you don't have your gradient dialog uh, open, you can go to Windows dockable dialogues and find your gradients uh, dialog there also you can go to this little arrow key on the side of each 
little um, dialogue thing there and and choose add tab and then you can also turn it on from there uh, so anyway uh, I'm going to scroll down I've got a bunch of gradients here um, some of these are ones that have, are included in the default in, install of GIMP and some of them are others I've added and then I believe the I'm not 100% sure about this one that we're about to use uh, whether or not it's included uh, in the default install but it may be a part of GIMP Paint Studio and what I'll do in this video uh, I'll put a link to one of my other videos that um, will give you uh, instructions on installing GIMP Paint Studio uh, which is just basically a set of uh, preset and some gradients and some palettes and stuff uh, to add to GIMP. It's it's not another program as some have thought. It's it's just a set of presets. So anyway, uh, I will be sure to include the link to that video in here so you can go get these extra things for GIMP. Anyway, the gradient I'm choosing is called metallic something, and literally the name is called metallic something so anyway I'm gonna choose that gradient and then under our tool options over here uh, under the shape I'm going to set that from linear I'm going to choose conical symmetrical and then uh, remember that we have our snapping turned on uh, guide snapping so now when I'm begin to drag out this gradient um, I can snap right to the center of our circle selection so as you can see we're snapping to these guides so I'm just snapping to the center and then I'm drag this uh, gradient fill to the very bottom edge of this selection so I'm going to hit my uh, I gonna hide my guides. I used uh, control shift T to turn those on and off. Uh, you can also use the view menu to hide those guides. Uh, show guides right there. You can use the menu or you can see that there's a some shortcut keys there for you to use. So anyway here's what our uh, gradient fill looks like. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to, uh, well let me just show you, uh, I'm going to go to filters, I'm going to go to noise, and I'm going to choose HSV noise, and I'm uh, going to make some adjustments here, and uh, these, these values that I'm going to enter are not set in stone, you just got to play with them to, to see what looks good. So I'm going to adjust my hue first. Let's see, I'm going to crank that about 65 and then my saturation. I want this to kind of be mm, fairly noisy but not not going to overdo it. And the value especially can really really enhance it. So, okay. These are the values that I'm going to use. I'm going to use holdness 2, hue is 65, saturation is 92, and the value is 37. Now, remember, those are not set in stone. Just adjust uh, till you get something you like. Then I'm going to say OK. All right, now we've got some noise added to this texture. Now I'm going to go to filters, and I'm going to go to blur and motion blur and I'm going to leave this set at the de default values other than uh, under the blur type I'm going to choose radial and then I'm just going to say OK wait on this filter to take effect and there we go this is our uh, brushed metal texture and 
that I think it looks pretty decent okay another thing I like to do now that's basically it for this tutorial I'm just gonna throw in some some extra stuff if you want to keep watching great okay so I'm gonna create another uh, layer here on top and I'm gonna gonna go ahead and show my guides again and I'm gonna grab my ellipse selection I'm just gonna drag out another selection I'm just gonna go a little bit smaller actually no I'm not I'm gonna leave uh, that outside selection going there and I'm going to uh, do another gradient fill and this time instead of uh, dragging from the center of uh, this selection I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna drag out our fill from a different direction and then I'm gonna go back to my ellipse tool and drag out another selection just a little bit smaller and I'm gonna hit delete and I had my guides and I'm gonna hide my selection As you can see that adds this kind of a little border to give us a little bit of uh, a shape there so basically that uh, technique is the one I use to create um, this volume knob here uh, so I can just keep going uh, if I want I can let's see turn back on these guides and my lip selection and just draw out another selection there I'm gonna create another layer on top there use my gradient tool uh, fill tool and I'm gonna drag out another selection there I'm gonna fill it and grab my ellipse tool again and then hit delete on my keyboard hide those guides anyway that's basically basically it um, so uh, that's all I'm gonna do for this tutorial I hope uh, you find these techniques useful and uh, I don't know when I'm gonna have time to do another uh, vi GIMP video but hopefully you found this useful so anyway that's it for now everybody have a great day